Hello everybody, uh, my name is Graham Townsend. I'm the former skating and skills coach for the San Jose Sharks and the Toronto Maple Leafs of the National Hockey League. And what we're about to show you here today, okay, the first thing we're going to talk about here is defensive zone coverage. Now, everything I'm teaching you in this video comes from the perspective of a guy, me personally, who was a forward that was switched to defense. So I don't want you to try to imagine being a, a college player, you're you played forward your entire life and suddenly you're a sophomore and your coach tells you you're playing defense about three weeks into, into your sophomore year. It was a really difficult situation for me and I had no idea what to do as a defenseman and there's really no one to teach me. I'm get a little frustrated. I'm going to show you a tactic that can help you take control of this situation. It's a technique we call the Lidstrom. It's named after Nicholas Lidstrom who I most believe, including myself, is probably the best defenseman in the history of the game. And this is one of the tactics that we watched and studied him and watched him doing. So Derek came up with a brilliant way to teach this on a circle. And so what we're doing here is Dante is going to basically do everything we just did in a smaller area. So that way he can practice the movements. And like I said, over the course of maybe three months or so, putting five to ten minutes every practice in, to, to, to committing five to ten minutes every practice to these drills, um, it'll become part of your game. It'll be more natural. He gaps up on me. I come across. I cut back on him, and he stays with me. So that's the perspective I want you to think about when you're doing this drill. So we're going to go over why we prefer to teach pivots a little bit differently. And only, what happens here is as, as a forward skating down the ice, I'm a defenseman here. I've got my stick over here. And I, let's say I do a crossover pivot and I attack, I go right towards where he is. By the time I get there, as you can see, I end up on his back. He gets a step on me. So then I, I end up having to adjust, adjust my track and then basically I become ineffective. I've thrown in a, one extra piece at the end that really serves no purpose other than we want to use it to practice some little techniques. That's it. It's not going to happen in the game. But we want to practice the quick stop into a Niedermeyer, a couple quick backward arcs, into a pivot, and then another one-foot stop. And that's it. So here we go, Ben.